Hey, how's it going? Dennis Walsh here. Today we're going to be talking about reverse osmosis drinking water systems. In this video, I'm going to explain what to do if you go to get some water and after a few seconds, the water loses its pressure. Stay tuned. All right, so this is your pressure tank. Because we know that we're getting pressure for a few seconds before it slows down, we know that the bladder in the tank is still working. The first thing that you'll want to do is turn off the water. Underneath the sink you'll see two copper pipes. On the left you have hot, on the right you have cold. Connected to the cold line you should see the water line that goes to the filter system. Turn the valve off for the water that goes to the filter system. You'll also want to turn the valve off on the pressure tank. All right, so you can go ahead and take the tank out from underneath the sink. Keep the water line attached to the tank, but disconnect it from the system. You'll see a little cap on the tank. Go ahead and twist that off and it's gonna reveal an air valve. At this point, you're gonna reopen the valve on top of the tank so that you can get the water out of there. You're going to need a pump of some sort, like a bike pump. Go ahead and connect your bike pump to the tank and add a little bit of air in there. You'll see that the water starts coming out. So just add air as it needs. Let the water come out smooth and steady until all the water is completely emptied out of the tank. Once you've drained all the water out of the tank completely, you can go ahead and close the valve all right, go ahead and add some air to the tank. These things usually take between five to eight PSI. And just keep it smooth and steady because you don't want to damage anything inside of the tank. So you got your tank filled up with air. Go ahead and put it back under the sink. Attach the line from the tank back to the system. You can go ahead and open up the valve on the tank and the water line coming from the cold water copper pipe and you're ready to go. The tank will start filling up with water and if, if after a day or two it loses pressure again, that means you're going to need a new tank. Thanks for watching the video everybody.